new tourist destination in Auburn Hills, Michigan, is showing visitors the difficulties life held for Americans in the past. Blockbuster Video aims to transport visitors to a time before the Internet. It's an historically authentic recreation of a video store, a specialty shop where customers exchanged money for the short-term use of videos in an archaic system called renting. The tour is amazing. It's like stepping into a time machine. It's hard to believe that people live this way. A historical research team spent three years making sure every last detail was accurate, from the signs used to promote the store's merchandise to the costumes worn by the store's employees, historical performers who make history come alive for tour groups twice an hour. My character is based on an actual blockbuster employee named Jerome, who worked there from May of 1999 to June 2000. My main responsibilities are to man the cash register and to put the movies from the return slot back onto the shelves. I am a Blockbuster customer named Kathy. Two times a week, I travel six miles to rent and return videos. Oh, look, we're in the comedy section. What's so poignant about this time is the uncertainty. When you get to the Blockbuster, are they going to have your video? Did someone else rent it? Is there going to be a line? Are the alarms going to sound when you walk out the front door. It was very difficult for the people that, that lived during this era. Actors say their job is to create a historically authentic experience. Yes, we have it, but our only copy is currently checked out. After the organized tour, visitors are allowed to move around the store, exploring the so-called living museum. It's really amazing that people had to go through so much just to get a movie. Blockbuster joins a growing number of historical tourism sites, including Buffalo, New York's recreation of Virgin Records Music Store and Iowa City's Borders Bookstore Museum.